Hi there guys, as I've only got a few hours spare today, I thought it'd be a great idea to go around the local lake, see if I can catch a fish or two. Now the plan is, with it being a bit warmer, is to go around the lake with my fly rod, targeting carp first, and then if I've got a bit of time after that, change over to the lures, see if I can catch a perch or two. Let's see how we get on. Screaming real, don't we all just love that? Our fly fish of the carp, and this one took the bait, looks like a biggie. Let's get him in. Today is only meant to be a short session, only got a couple of hours. Walked around the lake, managed to find a few in the corner. I've already had two, with this being the biggest 16 pound common. We'll have a quick look, get him back in, hopefully, catch a few more. Look at this beautiful carp. <laughs> Absolutely stunning. Get in your fly rods, go catch a few carp. Beautiful. Let's get him back. All recovered. Let's get him back. What a beautiful fish. Come on in. You can swim out. <laughs> Just awesome. Let's go for some more. And in the rod. Come on in. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Oh, he's digging in. Come on. Uh. This is what it's all about. Digging in, isn't he? Nice. It's putting a good old fight on. Look at that. Come on then. Where is he? Ooh, there he is. Right. I think he's ready. Let's get him in. Oh, 
There you go, another beautiful common on the mat. We'll have a quick look, get him back in, as there's a few more rolling around. Hopefully I can catch a few more. They don't have to be big to give you a good old fight. Look at this. Lean, mean, common carp. <laughs> beautiful. Get him back in. Right guys, this is only a short session. I thought I'd quickly share with you the kit that I use when I'm going around the lake only for a few hours. Most importantly, as it's still warm, we try and pull them up to the top. And by doing that, we use some dog biscuits. So the little bait bag that I've got is the ESP with a catapult. Perfect, you only load that half full as you don't need a lot of bait. You literally just want to get them on the top so you can target individual fish. Going down to my rod and reel. Now, all this hydros size four and I've loaded that with Cortland Trout Boss eight weight line and it's a Farlow's nine foot eight weight salt water rod. It's a nice strong rod and as you can see handles big fish very well. Okay now let's talk about my leader setup. I'm using roughly five foot of Rio salt water hard mono with a Bimini twist to connect to the main line then I'm tying three foot or so of Rio Powerflex tippet using an Orvis knot. And the knot that I use to connect my fly to my tippet is a Palomar knot. This is the leader setup that I use for most of my carp fishing. However, you might have to adjust the length depending on the wind condition, if you've got a back cast, or if you rely on a roll cast like we do on this lake. And of course, it all depends on how spooky the fish are as well. There we go guys, carp number four. I was walking down to the car to go swap over to the lures and this one was just cruising around, done a perfect roll cast, put the fly in front of him and he nailed it. Epic fight, we'll have a quick look, get him back in. <laughs> just beautiful, look at that. Stunning creatures, aren't they? Heart fighting machines. Get him back. There you have it guys. Hopefully I've shown you in my fly fishing for carp videos how effective yet exciting fly fishing for carp can be at the right time of year. These were just a few quick tips that'll hopefully get you into fly fishing for carp or even just improve your catch rate. That's it for me for now. I'll see you on the bank again soon.